social media comedian Drewski had been like a little thing or whatever. So apparently somebody posted a text message saying that, uh, you know, I feel bad for Drewski. He got his bitch. He said it like that. And my phone twerking. She like, uh, he just a friend. He like, these bitch ain't nothing. Whoever it was. He said, um, uh, he just a friend and all this. And, you know, and then she reposted, say, my new dude is richer and his thing is bigger. You know what's so funny is these women get on social media and they tell guys that, uh, you know, these guys will embarrass you. They're so embarrassing. Uh, they'll be playing in your face. But these women are embarrassing, bro. They're embarrassing. She think it's funny when she, she younger now. So she think it's funny going around racking up these bodies. I was with this guy. I was with that guy. Every dude that guys knowing, knowing you been with, it's decreasing your value. And she don't understand that till she get older and nobody want to cuff it. So, but I, I looked at their whole relationship. It was just, it was just a, uh, to keep her relevant. Remember, it was the dude that said he spent like 10000 on her OnlyFans or something, something like that. And he came out and said, well, it was just, you know, it, that was a lie. We did that for publicity. Her and Drewski just for publicity. He getting this cloud up. She getting this cloud up. It ain't nothing serious. He, he might have hit it. He might not have hit it. You know, it's just for publicity. It's still for relevancy. You know, but what she need to understand is this as a woman. Is that the more guys you attach to, the lower your value is. And they think it's all fun and games until, you know, they way too late and a guy don't cuff them. And a guy don't cuff them or commit to them and they wait till it's too late. And, um... And now a guy, they can't get the guy they want or or, or a, a average guy. Even the the guys that women marry are not the guys they really want to be with. The true guys they want to be with don't commit to them. Let me say that again. I guarantee you out of all the marriages that are not prearranged in, in, the, what, in America, I guarantee you it's less, and I'll be nice. I really want to say less than five. I guarantee you it's less than 10% of those are, are women that are married to the woman, that married to the man they want to be with or the person they want to be with, even in, in the lesbian, you know, and in the gay community. I guarantee you it. I guarantee you, especially in the lesbian community or, or especially just male, female, I guarantee you the majority of them, the people that's married, they they not married to the guy they really want to be with. I guarantee you that most women, you know, marry the safe guy, the provider, you know, um, and a lot of these women be stepping out on these dudes anyway, but you know what? Check out the Patreon. I'll talk about that free game 89 side of thing. I think I might make, make it one big thing. So bear with me on that. Um, but yeah, they, they go with the safe guy and that's cool. That's cool. But, um, because a guy determines when you want to get married. But with with them, when you look at her and, and Drewski and all that, it's just for publicity. But she got to understand every guy you attach to, if you fucking or you're not messing with them, fucking around with them, or having sex with them to be cleaner. The perception is guys jump to the worst case scenario you are. And one of the reasons why a lot of guys are having issues with committing to everyday girls is because of the visibility now, you know. Um, you 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 could just see what they're doing. Now you got people saying, well, don't date nurses, don't date hairstylists. And I'll tell you this, to be real, like nurses is some of the funnest women that you're going to date. Like, like teachers and nurses, when you start talking about, well, cheating and all that, that's across the board. Like, you had the most fun probably with nurses and teachers. Real talk, you had the most fun. No cap. You, uh, you listen to me, you're going to have, a, out of anybody you date, you're going to have the most fun with them. And your pocket's going to be fatter because they like to spend money. So, if you, I mean, you got to ask the most guys, you know, most guys are dating for the box. And if the box is consistent, they can consistently get the box. 
then they end up in a relationship. This is why the, the relationships never really last. Or they get to a marriage, he just it's just convenient, so he marry her. You know, so convenient, or, you know, and they don't even know what love is. It's just that they were dating just for the box. The box was convenient. She might have started doing a few things here and there, probably not even the bare minimum. You look up five years, look up seven years, they married. It don't work out. She take half. She never loved me. That's why. So a lot of guys, when you start talking about infidelity and and, and, and cheating and, and loyalty, like most of the relationship, most guys, you just, you talking to women or dating women for the box. That's it. The box just became convenient or that's what you can get. You couldn't get nothing else. Or maybe she was good, good enough. You just got her as a table setter until you're ready to settle down. And you think she not going to pay attention to that? No, women are very observative. It ain't that they don't. It ain't that they they not. They just ignore certain red flags, you know. So, but what what? It's just the visibility now. And now that you got a visibility of a track record, we can put a whole facts on that. You know, guys, but like, oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Now, now they can see kind of how you moving, and now they can see the whole facts. And it's like, no, you've been too many people. You just strictly dickly. You know what I'm saying? You just strictly strike. You just right for the stroke or. That's it. Now you got some guys that might be like, you know, I don't even care about your past, but they, uh, they got to figure out the past going to come back to the to the present. You know, and what I mean by that is, you know, a lot of women that love being in the streets want to return to the streets. So like I continue to say, once you look at situations like that, women got to understand, don't create a whole facts on the Internet. Keep your relationships, you know, or guys you attach with, keep that silent. Because most guys are going to keep it silent regardless. Most guys don't want to go public. They chilling. They'd rather just play the background. We be together silently. Most women want to post the dude on their social media. They want to let everybody know. But if women decrease their they visibility, you know, it didn't increase their chances, even if they're doing shit behind the scenes to, to getting chosen, they want to get chosen. Like Ruby Rose, she young, 20 some years old, high shit and all that type of shit. She living her life. But just the aesthetics of, of all the guys she been with is just like she she is fastly approaching. Uh, I mean, I used to work for Apple. We used to have this thing when the phone was broke or beyond. And we called it beyond repair. She's approaching beyond repair. And she need to rec recognize that. Stop time stamping your wholeness. As Minister Jack would say, yeah. You know, but at the end of the day, Drewski just coming up off, he just proing up off this publicity, you know, getting his name out there, relevancy. And it's okay to use a woman for uh, for publicity. I mean, Kev, used to, Kevin Sam used to talk about that all the time. He used to rent escorts that, that spoke languages that was smart to go in certain rooms with him. And people like, well, I'm impressed that, you know, that's why when you talking about, I'm not advocating buying escorts, you know, we'll do whatever you want to do. I don't really care. Um... But it's you know the quality the, that when you choosing a woman to actually be with, and I just talked about how dudes just they just date for the box, you know, and that's it. They don't date for the qualities, and you end up getting the box. She get pregnant, and she passed those qualities. And them qualities got to be passed down to your kids, or passed down, or you got to stick with them in the household. Then you bitching and crying and complaining about what she can't do, won't do, or ain't able to do. But the quality of woman is going is really going to determine your success going forward. Not how she looked, the quality. You know, imagine you got a woman and stuff, right? Y'all going, you know, you elevate, right? You don't even know where you going to be at financially or business-wise in the next 10, 15, 20 years. She got tattoos on her neck, tattoos on her chest. She dressed a certain type of way. You think you're going to be able to get through those doors that you really need to get through? Absolutely not. You got a woman that got to know how to speak, know how to talk, what the salad fork is. You know what I'm saying? That's intelligent. That can help you, you know, manage your business and put it in play. That's what women are. Women are a help me to men. Because as good as, as successful as a man would be, you will be. And you will live longer and live off the fruits of his labor. Your kid is going to live off the fruits of his, his labor. You are a part of the success. You ain't the success, but you part of the success. And that's fine. Because guess what? When he pass on or... 
when you ain't able no more because men don't live long as women you are the success then and everything you learn you pass that down to your kids so they can build off of y'all success and build off your empire so he teaches the woman or the women and woman he teaches the woman some things and a woman finds out and teaches him some things and y'all pass it down to the kids that's life hack that's why you see a lot of single mothers you know they you know because they're the predominantly you know parent they don't pass their kids down nothing homes cars nothing but debt oh get out my house and you don't give them nothing you see white people I was walking the other day, a white lady was uh, signing her kid up for an apartment and stuff. And um guarantee you, she probably is paying for a year down, six months to a year down, for him, for, him, for him to be in that apartment. Gave him a car, gave him a head start. Black single parent house, especially single mom's household, don't have no insurance. They don't get their kids a head start. All that um, child support, no head start. You get out there, you don't get it. You didn't get a car. You didn't get six months to a year rent. You didn't get tuition. You in debt. They don't give you nothing. Two parent households, you get off to a better start. Credit scores, credit cards, houses, apartments, you know, all types of stuff. You get in trouble, you got a house to come back to till you get on your feet. Logical thinking, but you know, the whole Drewski, Drewski and Ruby Rose thing, it's the quiet, you know, for, for the woman side of things, decrease your visibility. Don't even post a nigga on your social media until it's until y'all two years now. Y'all still together two years. Yeah, post them. You know, tell your people about it, or whatever. Post them. But until y'all together for real, for real, y'all living together, or or y'all together for real, for real, man, don't post your nigga before he meet your family. Bear two years. If he wanna post you, nah, no, two years. Stop time stamping the niggas you been with. And for the dudes, if you're dating for that box, that's fine. Don't confuse the two. I would say date for the quality of woman. Let her quality determine the box you want. And if you just want to date for the box, so be it. At that point, just pay for it. So it won't be no confusion. But I don't advocate that. But but I think out here today, we, we should be dating for quality. The person. Even if it's just casual. Because to, repro to have sex is to reproduce. That's the point of having sex. So if you reproduce with this person, you want to be compatible with them so you can raise the kid in one household. That's the goal. Broken households, you can't leave your kids what you want to leave. That money that the government is taking out of child support can be going directly to y'all kid's future and to y'all future. So date people that you're compatible with. Don't date people because it's, it's good for temporary feelings. and more. Date people that you're compatible with. You know? But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, check out the music entertainment playlist. Check out the real one-on-one -on -one playlist. You like talk like this, but raw. Check out my Patreon, free game, eighty-nine side of things, man. I appreciate y'all. Hit the link tree, the Patreon there, Amazon Music, Apple Podcast, Spotify, X, Instagram, Kick, Twitch, the whole nine. Peace.